Introductions complete, I'm eager to get hunting. Picking up a Merkel Helix straight pull rifle, I find out which post I'll be on and head out. In the field, hunting guide Pedro takes me through the specifics of the Monteria. It's safe to, to shoot all around, there's no problem at all. Okay. You just have to be aware of the dogs and yep. the Matillero. Okay, oh the beaters, the Matillero. Yeah, yep. exactly. Okay. Otherwise, there's no problem here. Okay, so, so all sides, it's, yeah. it's all safe. And the dogs come from this, from this side. Yeah. And then turn around and come back. And come back, okay, yeah. perfect. This area is a high population of both boar and red deer that cause significant damage to the trees and the precious available grazing. This annual Monteria is crucial to keeping the population in check and avoid any agricultural conflicts with the farmers. With a 360 degree field of view and quarry coming from every potential direction, the Monteria is a hunt like no other. And it's not long before I get my first bit of action. The hounds have flushed out a boar and are in full cry across the open ground. I'll just be a spectator for this one, but it's riveting viewing indeed. It's clear how the Monteria works. Beaters and hounds work in tandem to hopefully drive the game in a set direction, moving from one patch of thick cover to another. The working pack makes an impressive sight. Not that I'm thinking too hard about it. The balmy weather has taken its effect, and I'm making the most of a lull in the action with a bit of sun-induced shut-eye. After all, there's nothing like a hectic trip overseas followed by a relaxing environment to put you in a slumber. But soon there's something worth waking up for. The hounds are in full cry and possibly pushing a wild boar towards me. Sleep dispelled, I watch on eagerly. Now the excitement of the Monteria is really mounting. No sooner have I taken my eyes off the boar than I spy some hinds coming from the opposite direction. Rifle at the ready, I will the hounds to do their job and bring the deer in closer to my position. It's not to be this time, but my spirits are still high. The drive has been going barely two hours, and I've already seen more than my share of wildlife. The beaters and hounds are still following the plan to the letter, finding and flushing the game out towards the patiently waiting rifles. A red deer calf comes by within range, but I let it pass. I'm looking for something bigger. Finally I get what I'm after as a large group of hinds accompanied by two stags comes in close. I think you should take this shot. Pedro's in no doubt. Chances don't come better than this. All I need is for the left hand stag to stop clear of the others. The shot runs true, fell in the stag where he stands. But the magic of the Monteria means the fun isn't over. Behind you! Behind you! One hundred and eighty degree turn later, I've got my second beast in the bag. This one is a big boar sow that came out of some dead ground behind my position. Even though I'm a left-hander, the straight pull action of the helix was very quick indeed. Minutes later, the drive ends, and we inspect the fallen quarry. Big pig. Yeah, it's a female. Yeah, yeah, big female. One right through the eye. Thank you so much. Yeah, nice shot. Well, what a day. Driven game hunting, Portuguese style, uh, called a Monteria. Uh, we saw a lot of red deer today, uh, some mouflon, uh, fleetingly, uh, and wild boar. Uh, fantastic. Um, didn't start long uh, before a, a group of hinds and a couple of stags uh, came into the hunt, uh, into my field of view, it came straight in onto my arc of fire, uh, picked the stag, he stopped, nice shot from, uh, from the helix there, performed very very well and then uh, almost immediately a, a wild boar came in from behind, uh, I turned about and uh, took the backer, a big female boar, uh, straight behind me. Uh, Pedro was very pleased about that. Uh, fantastic. Strange place really uh, to hunt because uh, it's a very quiet area in the Cork Oak Groves and we just uh, 
sat there with all the acorns falling out uh, down and around us. You can see all the cork trees uh, where they've harvested the cork around and uh, very picturesque and uh, you know halcyon days really uh, started to nod off uh, almost immediately very relaxing. My first Iberian red stag 10 pointer. Many thanks to Pedro and all the guys. As the short hunt concludes, we respectfully line up the fallen game in tribute. There's an impressive tally including quite a few monster specimens of both species. And the Merkel Helix has certainly proved its worth, with a unanimous nod of approval from knowledgeable guests. Norwegian hunter Johund proves he's a man of few words. We'd like to say a few words, Johan. Uh, yes, it's dead. <laughs> but this hunt has been more about than the numbers. It's about the unparalleled hunting experience that is the Monteria and preserving the balance of the environment in a traditional way. As the guests swap stories, we take a quick look into the remarkable shooting lodge where the Apre hunt festivities will soon begin. The trophies taken over the years clearly prove this is a well-managed estate. This hunt has been superbly managed by Paolo and Pedro and I can't wait to take part in my next Iberian Monteria.